Next week is pumpkin pie time. So I grew successfully several pie pumpkins and I need to get them ready to make pumpkin pies, pumpkin breads, pumpkin muffins, all the pumpkin things. So if you've never made pumpkin pie from a fresh pumpkin, you're totally missing out. I made the one last year for the very first time. It was to die for. But it is a process, so you do have to start somewhat early to give your time to get the pumpkin puree ready. So I wanna show you guys that process. In case you have any pie pumpkins sitting around from Halloween, fall decorations, and you'd like to try it. Okay, so like I said, I have four pie pumpkins. This one, I don't know if it's gonna be okay. It's been sitting outside and it feels a little squishy. So we're gonna check together. But basically what you wanna do is get yourself a cutting board. You're gonna take the top off, slice it in half. We're gonna pull the guts out. We're gonna feed that to the chickens and the goats or you could choose to clean your seeds and roast them. And then we are going to Cut them in wedges, preheat the oven to 375 degrees, and bake them for about an hour. So let's get chopping. Okay, well, that's how much pumpkin I ended up with. And that one pumpkin was bad. Definitely bad overall. So you can see how it's all just clear and mushy. So that'll just go to the chickens, pigs, goats. But what you wanna do is you want, some recipes say to use uh, like vegetable oil, but I'm just gonna use coconut oil, rub the skins, make them soft and easier to peel, I guess. We'll lay them on a single layer on our sheet pans and throw them in the oven for an hour at 375. And you don't have to worry about getting all the stringy out of there. I don't know if you can see that. It's fine if you can't get it all out. Make him the cutest. Okay, so the pumpkin's done, ready to take out the oven. Let's see if it's ready. Oh yeah, it's good. Okay, I think that they look pretty done. I can't remember how I told that, was able to tell last night, but I do have to let them cool before I can handle them. So we'll come back to the next step in a little bit. Well, the pumpkin's now cool, so what I've been doing is just working on peeling the outer skins. Sometimes uh, it's soft enough, the skin is, that you can just peel it off with your fingers. But some of this is a little trickier, so I'm just sticking with the knife.
Well, it's actually the next day. So I just let this sit overnight and I'm gonna go ahead and smush it, then come back and use my emulsion blender if I can keep it all in the bowl. Well, that was an arm workout. Anyway, it is mashed up enough that I can now use my emulsion blender. And I'm sure a lot of you have like proper blenders to use. I have one, but I can't find the lid. So I'm just gonna use this for now. I'm pretty sure I used it last year and it worked just fine. So let's get emulsion. Okay, so basically what I'm looking for, I don't want to see any more strings. Like when you can picture like uh, spaghetti squash and it's stringy. I want to see like the pure baby food texture. So that's what I'm trying to get to. Okay, so pumpkin naturally has a lot of moisture, uh, water content in it. So what we want to do is uh, you don't want that in your pumpkin pie. So you do want to now strain your pumpkin uh, for about 14 to 24 hours. I usually go the full 24 hours. That's why I always do my pumpkin like a week ahead of actual Thanksgiving needs. Um, so it has time to uh, do its draining process and I'm not exhausted by the thought of making pumpkin pie when it's really busy time for Thanksgiving. So I just have some cheesecloth uh, I'm gonna spread it out over the plate, put the pumpkin on it, then I'm gonna string it up and I'll like hang it um, from the microwave door or something like that over the bowl and let the juices strain out. juice is already dripping out so that's exactly why you do it okay that is how you prepare a pumpkin to make fresh pumpkin pie so this will drain for for me probably 24 hours because it is quite a lot of pumpkin I mean if you just have one pie pumpkin you could probably just go a few hours even um, this will be enough for me for probably two pumpkin pies and three pumpkin breads or more. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and bag this in individual uh, one cup serving sizes and put it in the freezer and it'll be ready to use. So that's step one. What I hope to do for you guys is get back to you um, Monday or Tuesday and share with you my pumpkin pie recipe but it's my great grandmother's pumpkin pie recipe that is out of this world phenomenal. So just in case you wanna make pumpkin pie with me for Thanksgiving, you can follow along. I'll talk to you guys later. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. We'd love to have you stick around. And if you know a different way to do this, tell me because this is only my second year doing it and this is how I do it, so. Uh, always willing to learn new ways of doing things easier or quicker or better. Alright guys, talk to you later. Bye.